Hello. How are you guys? So I was at my new job yesterday, um, working, and um, they uh, they put us in, um, on computers to um, pull up our CRM, which is um, a computer system, and to have us log in to um, the lead system. And it had a checklist of like 15 steps to do. And they had put me on a broken computer with a mouse that didn't work. And I asked for help. And I asked a couple times for help. And the secretary came up to me and she's like, oh, grab your bag. So I grabbed my bag. And she's like, um, it's not going to work. We're a really fast-paced telemarketing company. And it's just not going to work. And she had me, like, right by the door. And I was like, <clears throat> I don't understand what I did wrong. And she's like, um, it's just not going to work. Can you please log out, please? Can you please, like, scan, you have to scan your finger so you can, like, log out? Then pretty much kicked me out. I was so upset <clears throat> that I forgot my lunch. Like, I had made <clears throat> a really nice lunch. Um... It was like tuna fish and broccoli with cheese. It was like in this really nice Tupperware container. But I was so upset that I forgot my lunch. So, anyway, I'm not going to name the company, but they're a bunch of jerks. So, anyway, um, I hadn't told them I was disabled and that I'm bipolar or anything, but, um, they, that would have never happened at 1-800-ACCOUNTANT. They were, like, super awesome about training and about asking questions. It's, people are just ridiculous. So anyway, I came home and um, <clears throat> I submitted my application for my resume um, to uh, a couple companies and uh, I got another interview set up for uh, for uh, 3.30 in the afternoon for a different company. And the girl was uh, really pretty. She had, like, like, the whole fake eyelashes and the fake boobs. And she's, like, this little skinny blonde thing. She was, like in, like, in her 20s. And she was all, like, really beautiful and everything. And she's interviewing me. And she's like all like like Miss Perfect, and um and she was all really super super nice to me, and uh, she's like, well, I'm gonna have you sit with one of our number one sales people and see what you think. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. I was like, this is just like one eight hundred accountant. We have the dual monitors, the dual monitors, um, you know, set up. You know, this is just how we're set up at at my old job, and she was like, oh, cool, that's awesome, and uh, I was like, yeah, um, you know, I could definitely see myself working here, and, uh, and, uh, I sat with the lady, and I listened to her, and she was like, um, this is so-and-so, um, um, how would you feel about, um, uh, the, this glucose monitor where you wouldn't have to get your finger pricked every day or so-and-so, whatever this feel was. And she was showing me how, how to look up an insur the insurance providers and all this stuff. And uh, she was really nice, the, the lady that was showing me how to do the job. And then the recruiter comes back and she takes me to her office. And she's like, so what do you think? 
And it was like, well, it was really, it was really interesting. I, I could see myself working here. This is a really nice job. And this job was for $17 an hour plus uncapped commission, which is amazing. That's like really good for Florida. That's like really good pay. Um, and uh, she said that that was her best salesperson. And her, she did five appointments a day, which I could totally see myself doing five appointments a day. I was doing like 15 to 40 appointments at one of the other accountants. So, and I was listening to their script. It's super, super small. <clears throat> the only thing is, is the computer system looked a little bit more complicated than what it under accountant. So I told her, I said, you know, the only thing is, is it might take me a little bit longer to learn the computer system. But I'm disabled. And as soon as I said I was disabled, she got all uncomfortable. And she was like, well... Oh, okay. Well, well, I'm gonna have to um, talk over the applications with my um, with my other supervisor. <clears throat> so as soon as I mentioned I was disabled, it was like she shut down. It was like here I go again. It was like she discriminated against me because the the guy who was before me. When he came out of his interview, they asked to see his license and his ID. When I left, they didn't ask to see my license or my ID. So, and then she was like, all right, well, you'll hear, <clears throat> you'll hear from us either tomorrow or by the end of the week. Or if you don't hear from us by the end of the month, then um, that's when training starts. So she didn't even... She didn't even know what to tell me at the end of the interview. She was so thrown off by what I said that she couldn't even come up with a lie to tell me. So I was discriminated against because of my bipolar. So that's how my day ended yesterday. So, you know me, <clears throat> I'm not going to give up. So, early this morning, like around 3 or 4, I was um, on Indeed, my favorite website, and um, I was reaching out to um the, the job that um, wanted to hire me in St. Pete um, doing the insurance for driving all the way to St. Pete for 10 hours a day that I didn't want to do because, I mean, they're a great company. They're they're rated higher than winning under the insurance. Um, they're a great company. They're rated higher than winning under the insurance. Um, but are so far away and it's a 10 hour day but I reached, even reached out to them and I asked them if they were still hiring for an insurance agent and I didn't hear anything back from them because it was so early in the morning so I was just playing around in Indeed and I found a job offering for a work at home job and I applied to it and they answered me back and I got hired for a work at home job for $20 an hour, they're going to send me a computer, so I upgraded my internet um, at home, the cable band's coming out before Wednesday to upgrade my internet, <clears throat> so hopefully this works out, um, it doesn't start from the 29th, um, I got to take a drug test on Tuesday. And uh, I got to get some some paperwork um, about my DUI I got when I was 25. But um, other than that, it's looking good. And they know I'm disabled because I had to put it in the paperwork that I was disabled. So um, 
it, the girl that was uh, interviewing me, she said that she was autistic. So they don't mind hiring people with disabilities. So that's really cool. And um, I got to do my interview on Zoom, which I love. I love the Zoom interviews. Because I'd rather do a Zoom interview than a face-to-face -face interview any day of the week. I just feel more comfortable that way. But, uh, anyway, uh, thank you to my new subscribers. It's awesome. I love seeing so many views lately. This is amazing. I can't believe so many people are watching my videos now. I don't know if it's because I'm putting the SSI on the, the topic of SSI. People just love the topic of SSI on my videos. That's just insane. I wonder if I just put back to a normal uh, video topic, if it's going to go back to a normal amount of views. I'll just put keep putting the SSI on my topic, my videos, and see how many video hits I get. That's insane. Anyway, I love you guys. Take care. Um, let's keep our fingers crossed that I can keep this job. Because we're running out of options. Um, I also had a guy call me back today um, that wanted to hire me on the spot for um, a job called Agent Link. He sounded really nice. But um, I told him I had already accepted a position. So um, if this one doesn't work out, well, go there next. Because I'm not giving up until I got a job that um, was just as good as one of the other accountants. All right, I'll t take care. Love you guys. Have a good night or good morning. Have a great weekend. Bye.